Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 2. In the last part, we we're heading through Chaos Tower on our way to fight the final boss of the game. And we're going to continue on now. We've made it to floor 11 out of 20, I believe. Uh, so let's continue on. I do need to fight a few more battles in order to level up before we reach floor 20, but that should be no problem. I'm really glad that that was not a return bug. I hate invisible bugs even when we've maxed out our radar. Those kind of things should not be possible, especially, you know, if this was in Terra Domain, I would have been close to the bottom of the floor and we get a return bug, or even worse, an energy bug. Uh, actually, you know, return bugs definitely worse than energy. By far, energy can be replenished. Return bugs, you can't freaking get your Digimon back. If only. Alright, so what do we have in here? We have seven floors. Eight floors if we count this floor. Or is it seven if we count this floor? Either way, considering the last floor is pretty much just the boss, I don't think he has a... Uh... Oh. Ow. Well. I will make sure to check those rooms from now on. Uh, but this is also why I brought the MechFix EXs. The spike in difficulty between the last two domains, uh, Chaos Dome Tower and Terra Domain, in you know comparison to all the other domains in the game, is just it's really crazy because you can really lose on these. Oh, War Greymon! This is actually a new battle that we have not. Oh, mother of God! Every time I see a bug drop, I, I my heart drops because it might be a return bug. I mean, I do have some other Digimon in my Digibeetle in case. Just in case. Uh, but it's still pretty crazy. Alright. Uh, what do we want to do here? For now, I'll just Grizzly Wing it. He would be best, actually, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. We can get through this, though. Uh, just gotta keep bo everybody's HP up. I wasn't paying attention sometimes when we were training in Ram Domain, and I would let my Digimon die on accident. It was not fun, and it was something I'm not proud of, but it happened. It happens. An assist for Armor Codeine. Depending on how much we take them down in one round, I'll check to maybe do another armor coating on Gryphonmon, but I think we should be fine. War Greymon's Terra Force hurts a little bit, but it doesn't hurt that much. Oh, and he missed anyway. Uh, yeah. Why not? Let's just go ahead and do this take out Pangeamon. We'll focus all of our attack strength on War Greymon then. Cause that's how we do's. Seraphimon the Templar. I don't know, he kinda has that Templar mark on his helmet. Not it doesn't really look like one though, to be honest. I'm just throwing out words. One thing I did like, I'm just now paying attention. To it really but you know how like they gave some Digimon hair like right there's Metal Greymon's hair and then they gave uh, Grand Kawagamon a little bit of hair there I just I like how they just decide to give them some hair all right so we're gonna necromagic I'm going to have to heal on the next battle uh, but I probably will do that off screen anyway so hopefully we got some good times Damn. Damn. Fuck this shit up. So, four more battles at the most. Actually, kind of run down for four more battles. That uh, duo X, the duo Scissor Claw actually does take a lot out of Grand Quagamon, so. Alright. 
I'm scared of these floors now. Oh! <laughs> what dicks? What fucking dicks? You notice how I was just like, uh, 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 and I'm like, okay, there's no bug here. Oh, there's a bug right there. Motherfuckers. I'm just telling you, they don't fucking kid around on these floors anymore. Really makes you nervous. Energy bugs just whittling away. Luckily, we're not that far off from the uh, final floor. I'm checking every floor uh, room before I go in it, just in case. Since they like to be dicks about this. Alright, so we got... I don't think we fought these guys before. So I'm leaving this one in as well. Uh, but I will cut out the other one. Ah... Uh. To fight. Bring it on, Pukumon and Grand Kwagamon. Alright, I have to get his HP up. No doubt about it. And he's gonna have to be guarding sometimes during this fight. Duel Sita Claw! Although it sounds like it sucks. Sump Pump of Ahoya or something. I don't know. Of course, them with their wheel. Wield? The wield! Oh my god, they have such weird ways of talking. Speaking of weird ways of talking, when I'm talking like a freaking moron. Oh. Freaking Chaos Tower. So this battle is relatively normal. Uh, he has X Scissor Claw, which is just a single version Scissor Claw. Doesn't have any kind of defense down, but it does, as you see, do quite a bit of damage. And now he might need to be healed. Uh. Yeah, might as well. All right. Nope. Energetic bomb. Let's focus on Pukumon just because he attacks everybody. That would be bad. Alright, what do we got? Pretty attack. Go! And we got him healed up. We're fine. His X Scissor Claw is going to hit who? See, even against Grand Kwagmon, does pretty good amount of damage. I didn't pay attention so much to Pokemon's attack. Needle Storm! To be honest. Oh! Eh. Decent amount, to be honest. I never really liked Pokemon, though, because his attack is 80 MP, and it's definitely not as powerful as Fire. Uh, tornado, so. Alright. So we'll just Grizzly Wing and focus everybody on attacking Pokemon except for Grand Quagamon because he has to recharge. Oh, his motivation's back. Damn it. I needed you to keep un be unmotivated, man. Don't have any motivation to killing me, because if you kill me, it's bad. It's very bad. Ah, but at least he lets my counterattack. That's a good thing about him. Even though his attack is weak, it will counter my or uh, activate my counter. So. Uh, which doesn't do that much. But at least it killed Pokemon. I'm able to get some Necromagic F. Dream is on the scissor. Sounds cool. Alright, Necromagic, go. And I will guard. Yeah, we are a little roughed up, to be honest. Uh, but we'll, be, we'll, we'll deal. We will deal. 
Oh, I didn't get to have a necromagic off. Did I? Fudge. Oh, well. Alright, so two more battles like that, actually, so... I should be able to deal with that. Alright, so I'm gonna cut here because we're gonna be fighting this battle. And... Alright, so we only need one more battle before we level up, and we are a little bit worn down. Uh, Seraphimon's pretty worn down, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. See, my spider senses were tingling. These floors, man. They're going to make sure that I check. Uh, Boltmon and Metal Mamemon. I don't know if that would push me over, so I'm going to just avoid that for now. Speaking of which, as I mentioned earlier, oh man, I have to go down there to check. I will check other places first. Uh, data type Digimon kind of have the rough end of the stick in this game because they're the freaking data types that you can get. I was lucky enough to get a Metal Seedramon, uh, but the problem with Metal Seedramon is, or and data types in general. I'm gonna check that chest. Anything hiding here? No. Okay, shit. Uh, they move twice, so it's very hard to get them recruited. And since that, the way I got Metal Seedramon is he was stuck behind some dr drill disc or uh, drill block things. And that's how I was able to capture him because I can send the things back and back and back and back until he gets a full heart. And I don't have to worry about... I don't have to worry about... Actually, since I don't know if this is going to get me pushed over, I'm just going to run away. I'm going to save it for a battle that I know will push me over. Uh, I had to get him stuck in a block thing. So until... Until I found one like that, I was going to just go for a Boltmon, because Boltmons only move once. And it's a lot easier to get Metal Seedramon. But, luckily I found a Metal Seedramon like that. Don't You don't see those that often though, so that's why getting a Metal Seedramon is pretty hard. And especially, there are actually some that move three times in Terra Domain, I'm pretty sure. And those things are just impossible. Uh, the teleporter is hiding on this one. Right there, it is there. All right. Once again, just going to be running away from him. Just want to make sure that the next battle is the one that pushes me over. Because as you see, I am a little bit run down. Just a, just a bit. Just a tiny bit. <sighs> no bugs, please. No bugs. Alright, we're back to these floors. But now I'm just... I'm so nervous about everything. I may become a granny here and just for, move very slowly on everything. Okay, so this one's definitely going to push me over. And it's a new battle, so I'm keeping it in. Hercules, Kabuterimon, and Skull Mammothmon. We've fought Skull Mammothmon before. He's not too terrible, but Hercules, Kabuterimon. Pretty sure his move is freaking nasty. Uh, so we'll see what we go here. Uh, yeah. His armor coating on Griffimon, and then use Energy Bomb. And hopefully do a lots of damage. A lots of damage. Make sure I say a lots. A lots of damage. To be honest, I forget what Hercules Kabuterimon's move is. It's been forever since I've used it. I think it might be a, it's a single move, I think. As to what it does. Oh, this super, super bone crusher, right? Spiral bone crusher. I did heal myself, right? 
I wasn't stupid and not healed myself, right? Wait, what? Did he just... Did did Hercules Kabuterimon just use Super Shocker? Did he really just use Super Shocker? Okay. Well, then, um... I... I guess... I guess we take out Skull Mammothmon first. <laughs> that is, uh... Oh, there we go. Giga Scissor Claw. Yeah, it doesn't act, didn't actually do that much damage. It looked fancy. Does it make me always miss, though? That's not good if it always makes me miss. God, he's so golden. Since uh, Hercules Kabuterimon is the fabled but also able to obtain somehow Digimon in Digimon World 1. When I was able to get him in Digimon World 2, I freaked out so hardcore. It was so funny. I was so happy when I got him. Like I said, he's so bright and gold. It's like you achieved something. When he's just a normal Digimon in this one, especially at the moment, because it looks like he really sucks. Energy bomb. Oh, can't use Scissor Claw, do I have? I can use normal Scissor Claw. Take the normal Scissor Claw. I don't I don't think his defense can go any further down. I'm really just doing this for no reason. And, and he's gonna die to the Scissor Claw too. That's gonna be the funny part. And then we'll just let Griffimon finish off this guy. And we'll level up. Free HP and MP recovery. Yay. Counter attack. Go. And you're gone for good. <laughs> Almost probably half of his max HP. I think he might be a little under half. Level up. Moves! Yay, moves! Okay, so. Terra Force, definitely. Everything else can stay the same. Uh, we want recovery first, here, and then Necromagic. Good. Energy Blast, much better than Legendary Blade. Legendary Blade sucks and it costs more MP. So, actually. Why not? Uh, energy Blast. I really don't want Legendary Blade, so I'm just gonna get rid of it, because I'll never use it. Magical Tail. Do 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 do. There we go. And X Scissor Claw, which I just mentioned, is basically a strong move. It's not quite as useful as Duo Scissor Claw, but since it is more powerful, I'm going to keep it there like that. And there we go. And now we have our team that is ready to take on the final boss. Hells yeah! Double check to make sure nothing's here, and we're gonna go. Like I said, I'm probably gonna be a granny now and just check everything, because we are so close. I don't want to come this far away and step on a freaking return bug. And they're just making it easy for me here. Okay, so it's another... Memory bug. Which doesn't matter. I don't think memory bugs have a downside if you're too... full up on memory bugs. Like, with bit bugs, if you've run out of bits, they start destroying your Digi Beetle parts. Now that's bad. But, we don't have to worry about it. Energy bug, huh? Why not? We're close enough to the end, we don't need to worry about it. I was thinking I could just go around it, but, you know, there could be bugs right next to it, too. Huh, I think they're giving us a little... A little breathing room here. 
till the final boss. Oh, which I might end up taking because it's getting close to the time limit. I don't have a time limit, but I put time limits for myself. Just to keep my videos, you know, at a decent time. Alright, so I, I guess I'll just leave it here. And in the next part, we're going to actually get to the final boss. I thought I'd get it in this time, but I wanted to be a little bit more careful. Oh, this is... This is a little spooky. It's just one way. Uh, anyway, on the next episode, let's go fight the boss. And until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.